In this session, we're going to tackle one of the more difficult questions in chemistry. Is the chemical equation balanced? Before we can talk about balancing a chemical equation or determining if it's balanced, we kind of have to understand some of the basic laws. So let's review the law of conservation of mass first. The law of conservation of mass says that mass cannot be created or destroyed. In simple terms, it means whatever you start with, you have to end with. Atoms can't disappear. Atoms can't suddenly change. Carbon can't turn into hydrogen. Whatever you start with, we have to end with. Let's take a look at a really simple example before we move on to something more complex. Here we have a really basic chemical equation. O2 plus 2H2 yields, or gives us, which is what this arrow means, 2H2O. And we know H2O to be water. So let's look at how this compares to a visual representation. This O2 represents an oxygen molecule with two atoms. There's one oxygen molecule with two atoms in it. This is a hydrogen molecule, two atoms of hydrogen in each molecule. And this coefficient tells us that there are two of those hydrogen molecules. What we start with before the reaction, we call these the reactants. I always like to say that what do reactants do? They react with each other. That's why they're there in the beginning. On the opposite side of the arrow, we have what is produced, in this case, water molecules. We have two water molecules, one, two. Each water molecule has two hydrogen atoms, one, two, one, two, and one oxygen atom. These are known as the products. What is produced? as a result of a chemical reaction are the products. Think about going to the grocery store. When you go to the produce section, do you find dirt and water or do you find grapes, peppers, and oranges? Of course you find the grapes, pepper, and oranges. Those are the produce. Those are what are resulting from the process of growing. Those are the products of growing vegetables. So if we start on this side and we label the elements that we have, we have two different elements, oxygen and hydrogen on this side. So there are two total elements. We have two oxygen atoms and two times two gives us four hydrogen atoms. And we can confirm this down here in our visual representation. Now this is going to be too complicated to do once we get into larger molecules, but it certainly helps us in the beginning to make and have an understanding. We have these two oxygen atoms in this molecule and we can confirm this is here as well. On the product side, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to list our elements. And we have two hydrogen atoms times two, which gives us four. Now, if there's no subscript here, we have to imagine it's a small indivisible one. So one times two gives us two. And we can confirm all this in the visual representation we have down below. Oxygen, we have one, two oxygen atoms, and four hydrogen atoms. One, two, three, four. Now the question is, is this equation balanced? Well, whatever we started with, four hydrogen atoms, is what we ended with, four hydrogen atoms. We started with two oxygen atoms, we ended with two oxygen atoms. So since the reactants equals the products, then we can confirm that this is a balanced chemical equation. balanced equation. A few other questions we might ask you is how many elements are in the reactant? Okay. We have one, two. Whenever I ask you how many elements there are, you need to be able to list them by name. So how many elements are in the reactant? There are two, and we can list them. Hydrogen and oxygen. I could also ask you how many total atoms are in the reactant. We have four atoms of hydrogen. We have two atoms of oxygen for a grand total of six total atoms in the reactant. Lots of different questions we could ask. We could also ask how many molecules are there of hydrogen. Okay, We're not referring to how many atoms there are. There are one, two, three, four atoms of hydrogen, but when we talk about molecules, we're talking about as a unit bonded together. 
This coefficient right here will help us with that. How many molecules of hydrogen are there? There's one, two. There are two molecules of hydrogen.